So now we can continue by conducting enhanced oil recovery. Okay. We go back to options. Now we change the EOR type to surfactant polymer. Done. Input reservoir parameters. Okay, I will remove all first. Clear table. Clear table. Also this one, clear table. Okay. The same parameters for the reservoir and the fluid. The same relative permeability information. Now we input the EOR input. Okay. We start with polymer injection or we start with, I think, yeah, polymer injection. Okay. So for polymer injection, this will be 100. Okay. 100. Or let me check it again. Your schedule options. Yeah, we select surfactant polymer. Okay, so first a good input. Okay, so first clear table. Okay, sorry, so for the mistake, you are input. Okay, I will input the data for a polymer and surfactant first and then I will change the schedule, okay? 10,000 ppm, the apron viscosity is five centipoise. 30,000 ppm, the viscosity increases to 50. And what about 50 ppm, 50,000 ppm, the viscosity increases to 100. And this is the data for rock adsorption and oil partition coefficient. You can follow me, you can use these numbers. And let's say I also have laboratory data for surfactant, 1000 ppm, surface tension will be 0 0.1, 0 0.1 dyne per centimeter, 3000 ppm, surface tension will be lowered, 0 0.01, and at 5000, the surface tension will be lowered further, 0 0.001. And rock adsorption and also oil partition coefficient, you can use this data. Okay, so far so good. We can press validate. Okay, so from EOR input, we go to EOR schedule. We start with polymer injection only. Okay, polymer injection only. So it will be pour volume injected 100. Okay. Polymer concentration at 10,000. Okay. And for surfactant, because we inject only polymer, polymer injection only, you can use this one, 100, 0 ppm. Okay. So far, so good. It is very easy. Now we can click done. Calculations. Run simulation. Press calculate. All right. This is for the case of polymer injection only. Okay. Finish. Let's check the results. All right. Go down. Let's see the recovery factor. Okay, so now for this case, for this case, okay, we can achieve only to 62%, okay, 62%. You can compare it with the result with water injection only, none, okay, run simulation, okay, the, this water saturation versus length, very, very different, finish. Let's check the result. Okay, so this is the results from water flood or water injection only. You can see the recovery factor is 62.25, all right? This is actually a slightly smaller number compared to 
polymer injection. You can plot, okay, recovery factor, water cut, okay. And let's go back to polymer injection. Okay, check the input again. I will change this one to 50,000. Okay. No influence to the polymer injection case. This one polymer 110,000 ppm. Okay. And no ppm for surfactant. Okay. Run simulation. Calculate again. All right. You, you see obviously the 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 water saturation versus length plot is different between the eor with polymer injection case and the water flood and you can see here the recovery factor is actually 62.49 which is different from the result we get from water flood case okay so you can see in this case we can say that the polymer injection will give us higher recovery factor compared to water flood, although it is only slightly improvement, okay? But if we decrease the water cut cut off, I think we will get more significant change or more significant difference between the two cases, okay? The water flood or water injection case can achieve high recovery factor of 62.2%. It is because we allow the model to achieve very, very high water cut of 99%. Okay, so far so good. Let's check the plot. Okay, so you can see the water cut trend is different. Okay. Here we have quite low water cut, but at the end of the production history, the water cut increases significantly. Okay, all right. And also here, we can achieve recovery factor of this high only at 2014, okay, which is different from the previous case. Let's check again. Yes, usually if you want to compare the analysis we need to go back and forth, all right? None, calculate. Here, to achieve 62%, we need to produce the field or the reservoir until 2022, okay? So you can see the difference, although the recovery factor is quite close, but the, the trend, the phenomena, and the time required to achieve this recovery factor are totally different. Okay, now we will do surfactant injection. 